Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm super excited because we are going to try some new makeup from She Glam. I love She Glam. I love She Glam makeup and it's very affordable and they have so many stuff. So they came out with a new collection, like a Zodiac collection with 12 eyeshadow palettes. I picked one up and I also picked up a multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow and also a liquid liner. So I am super excited. But if you are new here, if you like makeup, if you like colorful makeup, neutral makeup, everything in between, I think you will enjoy my channel. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you here. And yeah, I upload three videos a week. So you will have three videos <laughs> every week here on my channel. And sometimes I do vlogs as well in my day to day life. So with that being said, let's go into to this video. So as I said, I picked up one of these. These are the Zodiac palettes from She Glam. She Glam is a very affordable brand and I have tried a lot from She Glam. I have a full face of She Glam. I have videos so you can just search on my channel if you are curious. But these were so pretty you guys. So they came out with 12 of course uh, eyeshadow palettes and this one, this is the Spontaneous Sagittarius palette. It looks like this. The other box looks the same as the palette and this beautiful woman and this one is purple as you can see it's like a little book and you have four mattes and four shimmers I don't know if one of them are a little more pressed glitter it doesn't say but it looks like it contains more glitter and you have some writing here like probably something about uh, this zodiac sign <laughs> I'm not into zodiac signs I mean I don't believe in it but I do think these are super pretty this is six US dollars so they are very affordable I also picked up a multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow so they had a few shades here so this is the chroma zone and this is in the shade Opal Essence. Opal Essence. And this is supposed to be like a pink turning into a gold, I believe. I, yeah, it's very beautiful anyway. And I think I want to try it as well. If we can try it with this look, I have no idea. This one is 550 US dollars. And then I also picked up a liquid liner and this is the color crush liquid liner and this is in the purple shade they had like blue and yellow in this pastel shades and it's a felt tip liner and I think yeah it can go well with this look it's gonna be very very purple today <laughs> and this is a 350 so I am so excited to try these things out and I have purple on so I'm gonna match a little bit but I think we can start zooming in. So I have primed my eyes with the Kiko Milano eyeshadow base and let's dig into this beauty. There is a lot of dark shades here, but I am going to start with the lightest shade because I want to see how these build on each other. So I'm going to take a more fluffy brush. This one is actually from Kaleidos uh, and this is S2. So I'm going to dip into this shade here. So I have some on my brush. I love purple so that's why I was very drawn to this palette. As I said I don't believe in zodiac signs. I am Capricorn <laughs> so I don't know how that palette looked like. I mean I'm not like I need to have the zodiac that I am but I just was very drawn to this purple so I thought why not try this one and yeah. Do you believe in zodiac signs? I mean, I know a lot of people does that <laughs> or they like to read about it. And I feel like there is always things you can see like similarities. This one is very sheer, but I really like it. It looks darker in the pattern. I'm just going to show you. You can see how it looks on and you can see how it looks over here but it's very, very pretty. I like that it's not too pigmented actually, because now we can actually have it as a light transition, transition shade, I mean. <laughs> well, you can always like find similarities in your personality with these zodiac signs, what they are saying. I do believe that I can probably see things in every sign that is maybe very typical for me like my personality so that's why I don't really 
believe in that but I mean everybody believes in what they believe in so I mean I'm not like <laughs> I don't think it's like stupid to believe that I mean I'm not but I do not believe in myself but this is very very pretty okay guys let's dig in to more shades here I'm gonna take a smaller brush here so what am I going to do maybe we should just take this one it feels like this is the next like matte it's not it's a little more deeper it's a more cool tone one i'm gonna place it here in the actual crease and start to blend it up this is also very pretty very pigmented then we're gonna put some shimmer on the lid as well of course i'm very tempted to try that it feels like it looks like it contains glitter or that it is glitter in it, that shade, the most sparkly shade in this palette, but I don't know. I'm going to wing it out a little bit here because I'm going to do that liner as well. And I don't know, it feels like it could look good maybe. This is so pretty. So far so good guys, so far so good, these shades. Did you pick anything up from this collection? Have you tried She Glam? I'm very curious. I have a few palettes from them and as I said in the beginning, I also have face products from them. They have a really nice liquid bronzer that I tried not too long ago. If you have seen that video, I really like that one. Super nice. And I have two for foundations from them. I haven't reviewed uh, I had just had one like a first impression on the foundation, but I have worn it a lot So I will do like a, a Mini review on that. Maybe I have a few products that I have tried out now that I have done first impressions on So maybe I should just come back to you <laughs> Tell you what I think I'm gonna take the first brush we had and just blend a little bit here Okay, I feel like this is very easy. <laughs> easy to blend. I think we're gonna use these two now. I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna take the deepest one. But let's dig into this one. Just to see what how they build on each other. Take this one a little bit here in the outer corner. Now I'm building a lot here, like a lot of shades. So I'm gonna see if they can actually build on each other. I feel like so far. So good they're very easy to blend like maybe blend away can you see it's not that deep but maybe that's a good thing <laughs> we're gonna take the deepest shade as well I'm gonna see if we can get it like really really deep with that one okay so I'm dipping into the really deep abogene dark shade here so let's see how this one is Yes, this one is really dark, so I'm going to see if this one is going to stay on the works. I'm going to do like that. It has a little bit of kick up in the pan. I'm not that worried about that. <laughs> this one is really deep and beautiful. I really like that. I'm just going to go like half the way with this one. I'm not going to go all the way through the crease. I'm just gonna keep it here. Okay, building okay. It's building okay. It's not like 100%, but it's not super patchy. It is a little bit, you know, it has a little bit hard time to stick, but I've put like three mats before this dark, so I'm not complaining, but look at this. Super beautiful shades. Really stunning. Oh my God, super impressed so far. Okay, I, I am very, what is this like yeah this is a lot of like glitter i don't know why they didn't say that it has like big chunks of glitter well i'm not sure i want to have that on my eyes actually because i'm a little bit scared of using that chunky glitter so okay so we need to like use the other shades here so maybe i should try this one first and i'm gonna spray it as i always do so i'm just dipping in with my brush first this feels a little bit dry it feels like it's a more like a satin it's very bluish we're gonna see we're gonna see <laughs> 
So I'm gonna place it maybe here. In a very, very outer part. That's beautiful actually. It looks really dull in the pan. It doesn't look that shimmery, but now when it's on, I feel like it's actually really pretty when I've sprayed it. I don't know how it looks without spraying it, but I always spray my shimmers. Okay, let's dig into the middle shade now, and then we're going to put this one in the very inner corner maybe. Like, not in the inner corner, but the inner part of my lid. Because I want to try the liquid multi-chrome shadow as well. Maybe we can have that as an inner corner. Let's put this one. Just... This one is not that spectacular. I like the blue one more. This feels a little bit dry. Can't lie. <laughs> It feels a little bit dry. I don't see the sparkle in this one. Okay, let's take a smaller brush and just dig into this one because this looks very sparkly. I mean, these two look very like satins, but this one looks a little more sparkly. And this one, of course, it's super sparkly because it's glitter in it. I don't know why. It feels like it's kind of a pressed glitter, but I think they have done it like a shimmer with a lot of glitter in it and it's chunky glitter. And I'm a little bit of Great to have that near my eyes, but that's just me. Let's put this here. Yeah, this one is more like sparkly, as you can see. It's very, very pretty. This one I really like. This one is really sparkly. This one contains like glitter, but super tiny, tiny glitters. Like, oh my god, I have a little bit of fallout, but oof. I can feel the glitter like or the shimmer oh my god like, coming down here yeah I dipped in too much with this one I don't know I'm gonna press it back but yeah I really like this one I'm not gonna try this one though but if you like glitter it's a stunning shade because it has some turquoises in it I don't know if you can see like purple here it looks turquoise but if you flip it it's purple so it looks really pretty I really like this though. This looks really, really stunning. So let's do the lower lash line a little bit. I'm just gonna dip into this one, I believe. I'm just gonna put it here, like very close to the little lash line. I'm very curious about the liquid liner as well, but we're gonna try the multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow now because I'm very curious about that. I do believe I need a little brush. It is a doe foot applicator, as you could see on the close up, but I need to pick this up like on a brush, I believe. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. Should we just, ooh, oh my God. It's super pink. Yeah. It is so pink. Can you see? Really, really cool. I'm taking it like in an inner corner and underneath here here as you can see like with my brush I don't know if you can see the multi-chrome kind of but I can see pink <laughs> I can definitely see pink I feel like it's very intense so that's good it's very cold very wet <laughs> on the skin but it will dry I think it's really really cool what do you think it's really cool I don't know if you can see like the thing I can see because I can see like really, really pink. <laughs> we have this one as well. I'm gonna put something in my waterline first. So I just put this one. This is from Kiko Milano. It's the Smart Colored Eye Pencil in number seven. It's a purple one, as you can see in my waterline. And now we're gonna do this liner. So it's a felt tip liner. And as you can see, it's purple. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna show off anything. Like, yeah, because this is lighter. So you can, can actually see it. You can see it. It's pretty cool actually. Okay, this is the liquid liner. I don't know if you 100% can see. Of course you can see it here. 
it was very easy to apply. I feel like it's pigmented as well. Now I just put it on all these shadows so I can't tell 100% but I do uh, love how it looks and the shade as well. So I'm just going to put some mascara and lashes on and then I'm going to show you the finished look. this was the finished look what do you think uh, I really really like it I mean I like purple as you can see by the way these are new I got them for Christmas from Jonas well I like they were on my wish list I think they are from Aldo I think they are super cool like these two eyes anyways <laughs> let's talk about these products guys yeah I, I really love now when I have like lashes on and so on I always use like dark eyeliner but now I really really like how it looks when it's like a little bit lighter yeah so let's talk about this palette first I can just say how this one is as a first impression I haven't tried any one of the other ones so I have no idea if they are the same quality probably maybe they are I mean they say purples are really hard to formulate I think they did a great job with these purples I mean I tried every purple here except like the glittery shade so I feel like I have nothing to complain about I feel like this one is lighter on the skin like on the lid than it actually looks in the pan because this looks like a really really dark uh, eyeshadow palette you don't have to feel like it's super dark you don't have to make it super dark as well because this one is very very light if you are light-handed and you have a big fluffy brush and just dip into this and put it on the crease it can be really really soft and beautiful and very very light and maybe have this one on your lid then you will make a very very light look but you can also go really dramatic and dark I mean this one is stunning I feel like they really build nice on each other they were not like 100 100 percent when i layered this one the last shade i have layered like three other ones under that shade so i mean i didn't expect it to be 100 percent but i didn't feel like it was super patchy it was really easy it just felt like it was this one was a little bit hard to like stay if you know what I mean when I blend it it blended a little bit away but I can totally see why because you have so many shadows laying on top of each other but I do feel like it turned out super beautiful and it's really really now I have the liner but it was really really dark in the outer corner with this one so it didn't blend away and I will try this one out more of course maybe try to start off with the darkest shade as well just to try it out i feel like this one surprised me it looks so dull in the pan but on the eyes it was beautiful this one not super impressed with but this one is super beautiful like really glittery and sparkly so yeah i feel like it's a really nice palette and the liquid shadow it's very like yeah as a liquid shadow is it's like very wet feeling very like cold when you get it on like on your skin but it looks stunning guys it looks really really pretty I can just see the pink but maybe it's because I see it like in front of me like <laughs> I can like I can't turn so I can see the doesn't scream like multi-chrome on the eyes like here but I want to try it like all over the lid maybe that's gonna be like a different like look and you can see the multi-chrome even more but it's stunning and the liquid liner nothing to complain about I mean it worked it was really easy to apply it's a very pointy one and the shade is stunning I mean it's this beautiful lavender purple and yeah <laughs> I can see myself using this one more <laughs> I can maybe just do like a very neutral crease and then just put this one this will be like the star of the show it can be real really pretty this was it <laughs> this was it was this very very quick I don't know <laughs> but I just wanted to try these things out I mean yeah it's a very affordable brand and I feel like they have some really nice things and if you can get like really nice makeup uh, products for 
less money. I am happy, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. And as I said in the beginning, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love, love to have you here and be a part of this family. We talk makeup, uh, apply makeup and everything. So I really hope you have a great day today and I see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.